We are joined on the phone now by Tracy Ferry, bass guitarist for Boston, who is uh, who's coming to Evansville, uh, man, just a few weeks from now, July 15th, the Ford Center. Uh, Tracy, you and the guys from Boston are going to be in town for a 103 GBF Damn Loud Rock Show. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I'm uh, at home at, for the moment. We've uh, This tour, we've been flying in and out. Uh, previous tours, we'd go out for several, several months and not come back. So this is a new way of traveling since I've been in the band. <laughs> now, uh, Tracy, you are originally from northern Indiana, Elkhart, Indiana. So so when you say you're home now, where do you call home now? Uh, I kind of relocated out on the east coast where my wife is from, but I uh, was born in Kokomo, Indiana, which is uh, just a bit north of Indianapolis. Sure, yeah, I'm familiar with Kokomo. I'm, a, I'm an Indianapolis boy myself, actually. That's what I read, yes. Uh, Tracy, I was uh, I was reading your your, your bio that uh, that was sent to me. You have quite the interesting life and some some very unique experiences. I think that that I would love to talk to you about. First of all, the fact that that a kid from that grew up in Elkhart, Indiana, found his way west to L.A. and ended up playing with with not only with Striper, who by the way, Striper was one of my favorites growing up, and now playing with Boston. Talk a little bit about how you ended up from from the the, the Midwest, Northern Indiana out west, now playing with Boston. That's, that's quite the journey, I think. Well, uh, I grew up in the music town of Elkhart, Indiana, is the band instrument capital of the world. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, there was sports and band. So you were either a, a jock or a band geek. I was a band geek, and I played the tuba, and my instructor uh, led me to play uh, more instruments, the upright bass, and I went to electric bass for several of the, uh, you know, band things. Uh-huh. Jazz band, pep band, marching band, everything. I was playing the electric bass, and uh, he said, "You know, I think you got some talent here. I think you should look into this further. There's a music school out in Boston. I could help you apply." And uh, it was called Berkeley College of Music. So I headed out to the city of Boston, got very uh, acclimated there, enjoyed my time. And uh, but while I was out there, I, I got jumped and injured very very severely oh, where it put me out of commission for several months of recovery and during that time i decided you know it's time to time to look around for some other places and and, and i headed out west and went to musicians institute on the other coast mm-hmm. and uh got very involved in the hollywood strip life of playing music ended up getting my first touring gig out there and all the west coast folks and then I decided, you know what, I kind of want to go to New York and visit. So I went to the other coast. <laughs> Man, and, bouncing uh, all over the make country, a long huh? story short, while I was out there, I got a call from uh, Prince's guitar player, Des Dickerson. And he said, hey, uh, I've heard about you and wanted to contact you. I've got several bands in Nashville that are looking for a bass player that you might be interested in. So that's how I ended up in Nashville. And from there... Things really took off. Wow. We're talking with Tracy Ferry, who is uh, the bassist for Boston, who is coming to the Ford Center here in uh, downtown Evansville on July 15th. Tell me about getting hooked up with Striper, because I, 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 I'm pretty sure I might have seen you, depending on when you played with Striper, I might have seen you in concert back in uh, at, at Butler up near Indianapolis. Yes. Well, I... Um, that was, uh, I think that was around the time when, uh, when To Hell With The Devil came out. Well, I didn't get into a little bit after that. Oh, okay, um, okay. It, 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 probably the, in the uh, mid-90s. Okay, uh, yeah, singer, this was a little uh, bit before then. The band, then. Michael Sweet, called me up. He had gotten my bio picture, and I don't know how he got it. Somebody put it in his mailbox, <laughs> hand-delivered it. He called me and said, uh, hey, do you want to go on tour for my solo stuff? And okay. he, was, he had left the band for a bit there, and was doing some solo records and I went on on the road and then when they rejoined I was asked to be in the band so I did a couple records with them and that's how I ended up with them and during that time Striper did a Boston cover of Peace of Mind okay and during a station nightclub benefit uh, it was in its big arena um, Tom Scholes and Gary Peel joined the band for our performance there and that's uh when i first met tom wow. and played on stage with uh gary and tom so i guess that's that... kind of how i got introduced to boston sure tracy ferry is our guest here on uh, on the phone we're we're talking to him about uh about his life very interesting journey from elkhart indiana to now playing with boston coming to the ford center on july 15th uh at the ford center in downtown evansville tracy if you could i i, I can't i can't talk to you and not bring up or, or not have you talk about at a very young age, one of your, I guess, one of your passions or one of the things you were very good at, which was roller skating? 
<laughs> I don't know how that comes up, but I mean, it, it does. It's, it's, the, it's the first part um, of your bio. Well, my, so I was the son of a roller rink owner, operator, and it was my skating coach, Francis Ferry. And uh, he got me on skates at the earliest age, as soon as I could walk, and then competitions and uh, national championships and all of that. So uh, it was it was fun growing up in the roller rink. And when you meet people who grew up in the roller rink as you know patrons, they get real excited that you skated and 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 it's a you know fond memory of of everyone who, who roller skated and even rollerblade. You know, I go out, I bring skates on the road. Tom mm-hmm. and I go out and he puts on the rollerblades and <laughs> we zip around, you know, the trails and and have fun. And sometimes I catch him on video when he's not looking. <laughs> <laughs> some, some blackmail material. That's right. Now, I, I, I read that uh, from time to time you would occasionally, back in the day, uh, wear roller skates on stage. Is that something that ever happens these days? I have not been asked, but I'm, I'm sure if I'm asked, I would be happy to <laughs> oblige. Uh, um, some of the fun stuff that in other you know bands, you know, we'd do these auditoriums, and the spotlight would follow us. We'd leap off the stage and go up through the crowd and circle around, and uh, we daredevil right into the stage and do a backflip up onto the stage with the guitar on. Oh my goodness! And uh, sometimes it worked, and sometimes it didn't. One <laughs> night, uh, the spotlight lost me in the crowd, and when I didn't have any light, I tripped over the the uh, snake cables, and uh, I went down really hard. Oh! <laughs> and I got back up on stage. I, had, I was kind of bleeding. And uh, <laughs> the show must know, go on, it, though, right? Made for a fun memory, anyway. I guess so, I guess so. Uh, Tracy Ferry is our guest. Uh, he's the bassist for Boston, who is coming to town July 15th at the Ford Center. Tracy, tell us a little bit about the show, what folks can expect when they see Boston uh, here in less than uh, less than a month. Well, I'm excited to say these uh, these songs were playing the hits from the moment we hit the stage to you know, the final song. And uh, we get a lot of compliments that the, the songs and the way we play them sound very much like the record and the recordings. Uh, so many bands, they get tired of uh, playing the song a certain way after many years, and so they'll do a new version of it. And sure. like, oh, come on, I, I, I want to hear the version that right. we heard on the record or right. even the live version that, from the live record or something like that. So Boston is very true to the record. From the arrangements to the sound to the harmonies, yeah. you're going to hear a very familiar sound and it's going to be true to the record and it's going to be full of energy and i I think the crowd is enjoying it and plus um i know i i try to do my best and and tom you wouldn't believe tom is out there running around you know getting up on the edge of the stage and uh it's exciting and uh, I got to think that uh, replacing Brad Delp's voice is, is quite the challenge. He, I mean, that guy had pipes for days. So who do you have uh, leading the way on the vocals uh, with this tour? We, we have the talented and very humble Tommy DiCarlo. And when I say that, he's very just honest about, hey, this is the first band I've ever been in, but this is also the only music that I ever really focused on. Uh, training my voice with and so this guy he has that he has the tone he has the heart and and it really comes out and 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 people really accept what he is giving out there as a vocalist and front man and uh he's just a a genuine when i saw him for the first time i'll I'll just be honest they had several singers it was the brad delp tribute and we heard the other singers and it sounded great but Tommy, and he was brand new to the stage. He went out there and he sang. And my friend and I, we were in the front row because uh, I was a, a guest there. And when we heard Tommy, we looked at each other and we were like high five. We're like, "This is it! This is the sound right <laughs> we, here!" You know, we, we were found so him. psyched. Yeah. And so to to get to share the stage with him, I, I'm just thrilled to death. That's great. Uh, once again, we're talking with Tracy Ferry, who's uh, the basis for the band Boston, who's coming to town July 15th at the Ford Center in downtown Evansville. Uh, tickets still available at the Ford Center box office or other Ticketmaster locations or online at Ticketmaster.com. Tracy, I know you're super busy, uh, and I appreciate you uh, taking a few minutes to squeeze us in for a chat. Oh, it's my pleasure. I, I love music. I love the music of Boston, and I'm thrilled to get to uh, play this music. I'm like a fan, too. I, I grew up in the roller rink, listening to the full record, you know, a lot of times you, 
if it's a good record, the DJ would put the whole record on because he could take a break. <laughs> and this right. was one of those records, you know, you just put the Boston record on and let it play. Just let it roll. There you go. All right. Well, Tracy, we'll, uh, we look forward to seeing you guys July 15th at Ford Center. Uh, between now and then, man, just have a, have a great day, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you later. You bet. Can't wait to see you guys.